this is catastrophic. And who's going to be impacted by this? Low-income people, the most marginalized people, black, brown, indigenous, uh, LGBTQ, disabled. Uh, that's who will be impacted by there. And let's be clear. Mifepristone is safe. It is effective. It has been used by more than 5 million people in the U.S. since the FDA approved it more than 20 years ago. And so, you know, if, if the powers that be and the forces at work um, are going to continue to leverage every tool available to strip away our fundamental human rights, um, then we have to use every tool available to us. I've been in close communication uh, with the governor in Massachusetts, uh, Governor uh, Mara Healy. I know that I have her partnership. Uh, she'll be leveraging every tool available to make sure that access uh, to Mifepristone uh, remains available. Uh, and we just have to leverage every tool, litigation, legislation, and mobilization, because this is a matter of life and death. You, I, I will tell you, you and I, talked right after the Dobbs decision, and you were among the first to say, please understand, this is the beginning. It is not the end of their efforts, and here we are. I, I want to pick up on your last point, right, using every lever. Last year, you helped persuade the Biden administration to expand access to medication abortion. Given this news, what's your message now to the White House? Well, uh, can't stop, won't stop. Again, we have to leverage every tool available because uh, the other side is. Um, we have to leverage every tool from litigation to legislation. We have got to pass the Women's Health Protection Act. We have to pass the EACH Act, um, mobilization, keeping the pressure up, because this is a matter of life and death. We cannot allow this to go into effect. And I, the administration has appealed this ruling. Mifepristone remains legal for the next seven days, and we will use every tool we have to fight this. As mentioned, the, the Texas case could reach the Supreme Court. I know you're watching that. And I, I think there are many stories happening all at once here. You have the reporting from ProPublica about Justice Thomas now admitting he failed to disclose decades of gifts from a GOP mega donor. These stories are tied. How concerned are you about the integrity of the court, especially given the possibility that they will be considering the future of abortion once again in this country? Well, of course, I remain very concerned. And again, when people show you who are who they are the first time, believe them. Uh, the Supreme Court has been operating in the absence of justice. Uh, they have been consistently overturning the will of the majority of the people when it comes to voting rights, housing rights, and now reproductive rights uh, and our bodily autonomy. Um, they are it is far right extremism, uh, and we are and it, and they are moving in a way that is to the peril of us all. Uh, this is not a drill. Uh, every tool must be lever leveraged, every option. And uh, when it comes down to it, I share the sentiments of some advocates that the Biden administration should disregard a Supreme Court ruling that rescinds the FDA authorization. The court has proven it is not on the side of the people, and it has really lost its legitimacy. Congressman Presley, as always, thank you so much for being with us.